Hey. Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. How is it going, Tommy? It is going great, Chris. Uh, we've had a heat spell here for a while, but it's going to get cool uh, over the next week. And we're headed into fall. Some people have started school again, and some people haven't. A lot of kids are taking classes online. You know, you're right, it is almost fall, then fall is almost here, the summer is almost double with, so we have some YouTube celebrity gossip news, so let's go to work, and here we go. So welcome back everyone. Uh, Tommy, let's start off with uh, what you have for this week. All right, I'm gonna start off with YouTube. iOS 14 comes out in, this, uh, in the next couple months this fall. Um, you should be able to uh, use picture in picture with uh, the YouTube app where you can actually just shrink the app down to a small little uh, square and say you want to check the weather or do anything else available to watch uh, versus just have it playing in the background, that is what is uh, being uh, projected for this fall, that, that they'll be able, they're going to be doing that. Um, and you can do that on the iPad already with uh, lots of other apps already, such as Netflix and some of other streaming apps, paid and non-paid apps. You can do that already. But this is now going to be available on a smaller screen for those people who, you know, don't always want to have a big screen with them. Right. And I know that if you have YouTube Premiere, Tommy, uh, you could already do that. So YouTube is upping their game and they're actually, you know, putting it in picture in picture in the background as well when you want to um, also you know, go off of the app too. And that's a really, really awesome thing just because um, I've done it and usually when I'm out and about doing something, flying the Maverick, flying the drones, you know, I'm just listening to music through YouTube and or either SoundCloud or uh, Spotify, so. YouTube has been hesitant of rolling this feature out even though the software has been capable of doing it for quite some time because they just didn't see uh, the purpose in it, but now that the, it's even better than before, they're going to be uh, pushed to do it, and I th think that's going to make a lot of people happier to where they can check something out, still have the video where they can see it if they actually want to see it, and I think it's a really great thing. I think it's a really great thing too. What do you? What else do you have, Tommy? Okay, <clears throat> 19 year old London Garfield. Uh, just recently passed away this, earlier this month uh, because he was suffering from depression and anxiety. Uh, he also previously had been on uh, ADH medicine, anxiety medicine. He had gotten married uh, back on June the same day. He, uh, and so it's significant to him and his wife because that's when they got married. Uh, They've already had one child, then they had a second child, and then after they had that second child, apparently everything was looking on the up and up that he was going to take a, uh, take a bath. One of the kids woke up, she went to go check on that kid, and next thing she knows, she said, oh, I'm gonna check on my husband, see how he's doing. She goes into the bathroom, he's not in there. She searches the entire house. Then she finds him in the garage, and I'm not gonna say uh, how he took his own life because I don't want, <laughs> to uh, have that image for people to get stuck in their head. And there might be people, which is a very sensitive topic about. So basically she found him in the garage. Uh, the EMTs got him to the hospital. They found a pulse. He was in a coma for three days and passed away on August 13th. That's sad news, Tommy. That is really, really sad news. And uh, that's heartbreaking when somebody takes their life because of depression. Yeah, I just think it is also gonna be hard because it's not easy just when someone just dies of natural causes. It's even harder 
when it's they feel like that that's the only option you know to feel better when all right. other options have exhausted uh, i like to tell a little bit more uh back when he was taking uh both anxiety medicine also known as uh, anti-depress uh, anti uh medicine uh mainly for a pack because he have he was having panic attacks well he got he also, he got addicted to both of his medicines. He take his ADH in the morning, and he take uh, his other one at night just to make him feel good, to get that high feeling, feel good. When he was always supposed to take the anxiety medicine when he's having a panic attack, uh, it's only way he's supposed to do that. But instead, he took it all the time. Yeah, I I, I get that. So, um, anything else to finish up with this story? Yep. With? So the last thing, he, uh, unfortunately, he did not leave any, uh, any note, but basically he verbalized his last words to his wife and said, um, you know, literally apologize, which a lot of people do when they get to that stage where they actually wind up taking their life. So they, I'm sorry uh, for everything I put you through, my, you know, you, the kids, my mom, my dad. Uh, you know, he literally said that one day to her pr pr prior to, uh, you know, killing himself. He literally, and then she was like, no, 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 there's nothing you could ever have done that would not make me stop loving you. That's what she said back to him. Little did she right. know that that would have been pretty much the last time she would speak to him. Right, that's it. That is heartbreaking. So we will have uh, Tommy's uh, stories down on the description down below in the information part so where you could check out more of these stories so tommy moving on we have mr tom brady and mr tom brady has talked about and mentioned the things that are going on in the world right now as far as the pandemic as far as the injustice he's talked about um that he wants to lead by a really good example um he has to be careful of what he says about his teammates because a lot of his teammates are different races. He will listen and he will learn from many, many experiences that happen um, off the field, on the field. And he also says that, and he'll be pretty, he'll be pretty motivational. He said a lot of positive things with his teammates and for many, many people out there that are facing hard times right now. That's what he mentioned when TMZ catched up with him. I mean, I think that's great, despite how some people really don't care for him, some people like him, some people don't. Um, whatever your past grievances with uh, Tom Brady is, uh, you should put that aside because at least he's doing his best to acknowledge that people are different, people are going through different things in this time, and not everyone's gonna have it as easy as somebody like him. It's hard out there for everybody right now. There's a lot of things that are going on in the world. Riots, um, the presidential election, um, just things in, in general that people are going through with the virus still. People can subscribe, click the like button, and click that notification bell, and it'll let you know when we post more videos. And that like, gets us up and lets people know that we're posting. Right. So this has been another Top Global Media. And stay and, safe out there. And yes, see you around and see you later. We'll be back soon. Bye for now. Bye. Uh, Apple's been kind of hesitant to do it. Um, not Apple, um, reverse that. <laughs> I must say YouTube, not Apple. Apple up until now has been a little hesitant of doing uh, picture picture with uh, um, their app. Uh, you said Apple. You said uh, Apple again. I missed the YouTube. <laughs> uh, I had Apple. I said Apple three times. It just got stuck there. Shut it out. <laughs> okay, here we go.